In our out of this world lead today, the U.S. government knows something unexplained is out there. Next month, we may get answers. The Pentagon has until late June to tell Congress in an unclassified report what it knows about unidentified flying objects. Now, to be clear, the government is still being very secretive about what the heck may be out there, but it has been more forthcoming in recent years, confirming that it is at least investigating sightings, including photos and video taken by naval personnel. You, you could see a Navy pilot blown away by in Bizarre when his infrared camera captured an object in the Atlantic Ocean in 2015. against the wind. The wind's 120 miles to the west. It's like It's rotating. Let's bring in Luis Elizondo. He ran the Pentagon's initial investigation into the sightings of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, or what we all call unidentified flying objects. And Luis, the Pentagon now calls the department you led, the UAP task force, um, and it's collecting data on these mysterious sightings could these objects be spy craft from another country? What do you think? Well, Jake, thanks for having me. And, and that's the big question, isn't it, right? What are these things? And the bottom line is that we don't know. And unfortunately, any scenario that we go down is really not a very good scenario. So on one hand, you have the potential to be foreign adversarial technology flying in within controlled U.S. airspace. Uh, and, of course, on the other, other opposite end of the spectrum, you have something which is completely and entirely different than, than anything that we're aware of in, in anybody's inventory. Uh, and either way, these things are being witnessed by some of our best fighter pilots. They're being picked up on electro-optical devices, such as gun camera footage, and then it's furthermore being substantiated by radar data. So, so we know they're real, whatever, whatever it is. A retired Navy pilot had a wild description of what he saw off the coast of Southern California in 2004. Listen to what he told 60 Minutes. The Tic Tac still point north-south, he goes and just turns abruptly and starts mirroring me. So as I'm coming down, it starts coming up. So it's, it's mimicking your moves. Yeah, it was aware we were there. So I go like this and it's climbing still. And when it gets right in front of me, it just disappears. Disappears? Disappears, like gone. To be clear, he's referring to this giant object as a, as a tic-tac because he said it was shaped like one. Now, three other crew members with that pilot saw the same thing. Um, are these objects a national security concern, given the fact that respected, credible military personnel are on the front lines of these sightings? Yeah, I mean, let, let me ask you the same question. I mean, if this is, was flying over controlled U.S. airspace, let's say Washington, D.C., over the White House, would this be an issue? Well, the answer is a certain, certainly yes. And the problem here is that these things don't have traditional, let's say, technology associated with aircraft. They don't have wings. They don't have cockpits. They don't have any obvious signs of propulsion. And yet, somehow, they're able to outperform anything we have in our current inventory. Now, the Pentagon must submit its detailed report by late June to the Senate Intelligence Committee, as well as to the Armed Services Committee. This is the report on these sightings. Top secret material will be included in a classified version. Do you expect to see real answers in this report? Uh, what, what do you think? Look, honestly, I don't think so, Jake. Look, it takes 180 days to do a report. It takes longer to remodel a, a kitchen in, in your house sometimes. Um, I, I think this is going to be the beginning. I think Congress deserves uh, a comprehensive report, and so do the American people. And I just don't think 180 days is going to be sufficient. I think Congress is aware of that. So my hope is that this will be an interim report with a much more comprehensive report to follow. And comment, if you would, in the minute we have left about the weird and contradictory statements the Pentagon have been, has given over the decades about this. For decades, the government denied Area 51. They brushed off these mysterious kinds of sightings. Now they're acknowledging it. They haven't always been honest about whether or not they were even looking at unexplained aerial phenomenon. What's going on? Well, I, I think the Pentagon is trying to, to wrap their, their hands around and their head around this topic. You're right, it has been going on for decades, and I think the American people are becoming wise to that fact, and so is the government. 
So the question is, now that the government has backed itself into the corner, particularly elements within the Department of Defense, it has to figure a way to get out of that corner. And so uh, it's it's tricky, right? And so unfortunately, you have this flip-flopping back and forth, and finally this begrudging uh, acceptance that, yes, this this is real, the topic is real, and we've been dealing with this for, for decades. All right, Luis Elizondo, thank you so much. Hope to have you on again to talk more about this. My pleasure.